Welcome to Automation World's Technology Matters. I'm David Greenfield, Director of Content, and today I'm going to tell you about how artificial intelligence has now been used to autonomously operate an operation at a large chemical plant, and how artificial intelligence is being used more broadly across industry to analyze sensor data. So let's start with the use of AI to run operations in the chemical plant. This test was done by Yokogawa Electric, working with chemical manufacturer JSR Corporation to determine the viability of AI to successfully operate a distillation column at a JSR plant. Now, the test ran from January 17th to February 21st of 2022 for a total of 840 hours. That's 35 days worth of AI-controlled operations. And Yokogawa and JSR both say the test confirmed that AI technology in this case, it's a type of AI known as reinforcement learning, can control operations beyond automated PID and advanced process control applications. Now, Yokogawa says this AI technology can deal with conflicting targets, such as maintaining high quality while also achieving energy savings. Now, both Yokogawa and JSR say that specific achievements of the AI technology during this test include ensuring product quality while eliminating costs associated with production of off-spec products, maintaining liquids in the distillation column at an appropriate level while also maximizing use of waste heat as a heat source, and during times of inclement weather that could have disrupted the control state due to temperature fluctuations, products produced during those periods still met the plant standards. Now, though the tests prove that complex chemical plant operations can be successfully controlled autonomously, Yokogawa and JSR point out that there were still many situations where veteran operators had to step in. But despite this, the test really shows the developing potential of AI for industrial operation applications. Now, looking at more readily achievable applications of AI in manufacturing, Automation World recently conducted research of end users and system integrators about their use of AI to analyze sensor data. Now, this is a key application of the technology for any smart manufacturing or industry 4.0 initiative because the expanding use of sensors in these applications can quickly accumulate more data than humans could ever effectively analyze. Plus, AI is particularly good at identifying the kinds of anomalies that people are likely to overlook, which can lead to better early detection of faults. Now, from our research, we learned that 26% of end users are currently applying AI to sensor data for production applications. And while 26% might seem like a low figure, you know, given AI's relative newness, this figure should be considered a good rate of uptake this early in the application of AI in manufacturing. Now, in terms of how manufacturers are actually using AI to analyze sensor data, system integrators say that the top three applications they see uh, are associated with controllers, manufacturing execution systems, and edge and cloud applications. Now, end users agreed with system integrators in that controllers and MES technologies were among their top three applications of AI to sensor data. But for end users, instead of cloud and edge technologies, their other top use was associated with drive systems. More specifically, end users say they're using AI in these three areas for component and product inspection, overall asset health monitoring, identifying part and product positions on conveyors, quality inspections, and torque, temperature, and vibration analyses. Now, integrators also pointed out how beneficial AI can be in asset health analysis. One said that the real benefit comes from using AI to look at all the data, vision, temperature, flow, pressure, vibration, lubrication, corrosion, etc., to provide a comprehensive assessment of asset health and remaining useful life. And another integrator noted that if they had to pick just one application of AI technology to sensor data that would be the most useful to manufacturers, it would be for vibration monitoring of rotating equipment. So I hope you enjoyed this Technology Matters episode. Keep watching the space for regular updates on advances in and applications of industrial automation technology.